okay, you're talking about how to do science in this world, you know, I want to point out something to everybody here. Cause Change of topic. sustains and upholds the universe by the word of his power. It's by faith that we understand that the things which are made, the things visible were made out of things that were not seen. Okay, so when God sustains the world and imposes order on it, on his creation, we have the ability as creatures made in his image to investigate the world, to admire its beauty, and to conduct all of our investigations under his lordship. So we can see the an accurate picture of the world insofar as we see ourselves in a proper relation to our creator. Well, ma'am, I've dealt with a... Uh, Okay. So you understand what the null hypothesis, generally speaking, is here, basically, okay. right? All right, so according to the views of the atheist, uh, based on what I've heard, I'm not an atheist, but according to the best arguments I've heard from them, the idea is essentially that it, they hold atheism to essentially be the null hypothesis to yeah. be held until and sufficient proof for any particular religion is presented. They don't believe well, then that again, has been presented. The, the overarching theme for atheism that I have found is something called naturalism, believing that the idea that everything that we see can be explained through natural processes, that the supernatural doesn't exist and is or irrelevant to our daily lives or something. The problem is that if you take the atheist position, you don't have really any foundation for doing science because you can't explain how you know the future is going to be like the past. You have no basis for the uniformity that we find in nature, natural laws. Like when you woke up this morning, you didn't probably think twice that gravity was going to hold you down today like it has in the past. Right. It's not just going to fluctuate Wait, or gravity's something. gravity's just a theory. Gravity's just a theory. <laughs> I don't see it floating to the sky. So, ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not just a, uh, you can call it a theory all you want, but it holds you down every day. So, I do not know. <laughs> I don't know what that, uh, what that means. So, it says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness is not. Venus is a baby. Why don't you play childbirth when the woman finds out she's pregnant? Childbirth when the woman finds out she's pregnant? No, why don't you play child support? Why don't you play child support when she finds out she's pregnant? Okay, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Man, this is, I get objections left and right here. Why don't I play childbirth? What do you mean? No, why don't you pay child support when the woman finds out she's pregnant? Why does the woman not get extra food stamps when she finds out she's pregnant if a fetus is a baby? Because legally, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Because legally, legally, a fetus is not a baby. The heartbeat does not begin up until, what was it, like six, six, six? Six earliest. Yeah, six you, you know when the six earliest six surgical earliest. abortions take place? Most, Most of them take place in eight weeks after the baby has had brain activity and after the baby's heartbeat begins. Listen, yeah, listen up, y'all. There are churches and organizations out there that help women. We're not against helping women. Okay, there's adoption services that gives the baby a chance. Okay. Okay. Question, no, it's not. Abandoning a boy. Why are you a girl? Yes. yes. Babies, and there are a lot of people who have had that situation before. A lot of people who are in foster and adoption who live Hey, do y'all, do y'all, do y'all mind, do y'all mind keeping it down a little so I can listen? I'm trying to listen. If y'all don't mind keeping it down a little, just a little If you bit. don't mind, stop recording that. No, I mean, you're in public. If you no. want to listen, go stand over there. Yeah, just keep it down just a little bit if you don't mind, no, just so I can hear them. No, thank you. It says that God made them male and female, and the two will be united in one flesh. Not male and male, not female and female. It's not good for, doesn't every child deserve a mother, not a father and a father? Doesn't every child deserve a mother and a father, not a mother and a mother? All right, there are millions of families in the United States.
United States who wish to adopt a child because they can't have children of their own. Why, why would you? Who abuse children yes, that are sent are. to their home? Fix the adoption system. Okay. Fix the system I, I before no banning abortion. Yeah, exactly. We we fix, fix it. America we fix it. Anything because we the fix. reason women I need to get no abortions is because of how cruel this world is. Like that, that goes, goes on. That you don't our choices, murder it our children. No, it is, our it is the baby's it body. Is our body. Really? No, no, no. It's my body. It's my body. Just right now, so when Google. Do you have a parasite? Do you kill it? Uh, a parasite? Are you kidding? Wait, you're living? committing a, you're, a baby is a parasite now. Yeah. A, yeah. You're yeah. kidding me. This is absurd. Without your consent? No, you know, the vast majority of the time you did consent to having sex. What about rape? Rape, rape is horrible. Okay. 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 Hey, that stuff. Hey, yeah. Hang on. Are you gonna let me answer? Are you gonna let me answer? That stuff is horrible. Okay. And I would hold the father responsible, or the rapist responsible. Okay. Hey. No exclusions for women of sexual. Okay. Why should the child die for the sin of the father? Why should the child die for the sin of the father? It says, yeah, it is. It, it is. Now, I, I challenge. I'll issue a challenge right now. Google when does life begin scientifically? It'll tell you scientifically when does life begin. Just Google it. Just Google it. It'll tell you it begins at conception because when the sperm and the egg meet, you get a you get a new genetically distinct human being, which means don't have a common genetic like code with it. Okay. The baby like is simply relying on this to grow. Huh? Uh, yeah, and when brain waves, mean. and when that's brain waves begin, and the earliest the abortions yes. take yes. place yes. at that yes. time. Yes. The yeah, that's right, man. Yes. They hated Jesus. The You're right. Oh, wow. He's just speaking the truth, here. dude. It's going uh, to I, take uh, Tell us some things that are true. You can get all upset about it. No birth control. I I do not. I am not. I am not aware of any abortion pill that does or not abortion pill, contraceptive pill or birth control pill that doesn't also act sometimes in rare cases as an abortifacient. So does tea, you idiot. No. If you drink enough fucking tea, you will have an abortion. So does alcohol. So fine. Yeah, exactly. You know. You know, whenever, whenever you go to a restaurant, whenever you go to a restaurant, sometimes you'll see a sign that says, do not drink while pregnant or it will hurt your baby, and yet the same signs, will, and yet the same state will say, you can have a legal abortion. How does that make any consistent sense? It's not consistent. So it's... It doesn't matter whether she wants to... Yes, it does No, you don't get to murder a baby. Like, have you, have y'all looked up? A picture oh, of a no. six-week. Yes. Have any of you really? So you you have looked at children who have had their limbs severed, who have had their heads cut off, and what a and fetus? Not children. Not fetus. A fetus. If you look up the definition, a fetus is an is an unborn child. Unborn. Unborn child. It's so, wait, hang on. Wait, since when does location matter? Location doesn't matter. Yeah. Just being in the womb or out of the womb. You know, babies are born at 22 weeks. There's been babies born at 22 weeks who wind up growing into healthy adults. It doesn't matter whether you're in or out of the womb. There's been, there's been surgeries. There has been, yeah, you're on the surgery in your mother's womb. No, but six weeks old, they do have brain activity. All of this, y'all, y'all act like you haven't researched the science behind this, guys. The science. They have The vast majority of the time, a woman has an abortion for convenience reasons. For convenience reasons. Who says the baby can't have a good life? What about adoption? There's adoption or adoption? Adoption. Any system is corrupt. It can't be more corrupt. It, it cannot. It cannot be more corrupt than murdering a child because 100. I would rather protect that child from being on this earth 
by killing them. Yes, by killing them. Okay, Eric, you got this. You got this. I would rather have an abortion than have a child on this earth right now with people like you. You need to repent. You need to repent of that attitude. You would rather murder a child. You would rather have a child. You would rather someone in the world. People like you would rather say, let's take away women's rights. Yes. Uh, child support, I, I believe that the father should be held responsible, yes. Yes, the father should be held responsible. Like, listen up, abortion gives men license, it gives men license to exploit women, you know why? Because when the man sexually takes advantage of a woman, gets her pregnant, guess what, he can fork over $300 and then after that, have her go get an abortion. Is that really teaching men to respect women or to help them or support them? Is that really helping at all? Abortion causes trauma to both fathers and mothers. It kills a child 100% of the time. Yes, 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 yes. Nobody's doing that. Hang on. There, there's a lot of different. One at a time. One at a time. I have a question. If it causes discomfort to both the mother and the father, how do they have abortions for convenience? Uh, there, because it causes discomforts for them. What do you mean discomforts? How, how, you say. You say yeah, it causes discomfort to the mother and the father. Yeah. Why are they having it for convenience? Because they are misinformed. They are misinformed. No, you are misinformed. You know, whenever a woman goes. An abortion counselor most of the time just wants to ensure that they have an abortion, not no, suggest not. alternatives to them. Wow. Look, I really have recommend that y'all study. And ask about abortion? I highly doubt it is your man. I have I have researched what abortions do, and when they perform an abortion, they will uh, do it multiple ways and stick a needle inside a woman's womb and kill the baby with a syringe. They will kill the baby and then they'll suck him out with a vacuum cleaner. This is horrible. This is horrible. And all of you out here, all of you out here who are supporting abortion need to repent. You need to turn away from your darkness. A lesbian couple? Uh, no, I don't think that's right. It's not, it's, it's not a family. It's not a family. Oh, jeez. Y'all need to repent. Y'all need to repent. Listen up. It says, hang on. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions. For their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts of men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. That is error. Y'all know it. Nature testifies to it. The Bible says it. Y'all need to repent and not commit homosexuality. The same thing goes for adultery, fornication. You know, all of you out here who are supporting a woman's right to an abortion, you need to repent. Stop it. Turn from darkness. Turn from the darkness to light. Nobody is arguing against a woman's right. What I'm arguing for is the right to live. Yes. No, it's not women's right. It's not women's right. It's the right of Live. Women's rights has nothing to do with murdering a child. It, it, Google, Google what fetus means. Google what fetus means. Okay, I'll tell you. Fetus, fetus, fetus definition, it means an unborn baby. Yeah, there it is. Baby, an unborn child, an offspring. One thing that I would love to, to do is I will love to support and help women who are in dire situations and who have it's who a lot need of help. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it's a lot of them, it's and there are a lot of organizations. Okay, pro-life organizations that help women, counsel them, take them in. There's been pro-life people who have taken women into their homes. And how do you plan to pay for that? How do you plan to help these women? Because you're saying you want well, to help them, but you don't help them. Well, it's charity. Charity. You know that this, this should not be. That, yeah, I have. Look, you, you donate to organizations that help them. That's. It says you don't get your right hand, know what your right hand.
your left hand is doing, I'm not supposed, I'm not gonna boast about some of the good things that I've done because that would make me boastful, prideful. I'm not gonna do that. Hang on. Yes. I have. Look, no, hang on. Nobody's. Listen. I just want y'all right now, Google an abortion at six weeks, Google an abortion at eight weeks, and tell me that that does not bother you, it and if it does it, so, so the baby, the, the, dismember, the dismembered child, the dismembered child doesn't bother you because it's a woman's choice. Yes, exactly. I, I, I got nothing left now to say to that, ma'am. Uh, there's nothing left that I can say. Exactly. You shouldn't have started talking no, we're the women preachers. We have a bunch of random men in like with y'all's random ass places. As I, we're women. As I, uh, as I said, you, I don't have to be a woman or have a uterus to know right from wrong. It's that simple. Oh my goodness. There are women that advocate. Okay, well y'all need to start getting vasectomies at 15 years old. Even some stand I want to see what's happening right now. I don't want to hear you on the radio. How old is what? Well, you can probably go and talk to a uh, gym coach over here that has one of those. I'll tell you the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Come over here. You see, 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 see. I mean, hey. Hey, man. Let's go here. All right. Here's what I want y'all to understand is that Jesus Christ offers forgiveness for the sins of those, even those who have done something as horrible as having an abortion. You can be forgiven by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, y'all be respectful to Dorothy. What's up with that? You're very disrespectful. Says God has decided we are ambassadors for Christ and born people. Yeah, I Yeah, I, it's God's right, and God sends us. Yeah. The, the Bible says we are ambassadors for Christ and born on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God. It says. These six things the Lord hates, yes, seven are an abomination to him, a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. What? And Who hates them, are hands you that shed to tell that blood. they cannot do that? That is between them and God. I'm that is our decision. I'm preaching God's word. God tells me to do that. He says to go into the world and make disciples of all nations. He tells us that the gospel must be preached to all nations so that the world can be in subjection to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says. So that's what I do. That's what we all do. I, I do preach about love. Did I not just say that Christ came into the world? Isn't that the greatest act of love is to lay down your life for your friends, as Christ himself said? He came into this world to save a particular people. I would like to see you lay down your life for a woman who does not want to have this child. You know, Are you going to take that child and raise it? Yeah. And where is that child going to go if you don't raise it? Who is going to raise we that have, child? We have adoption. adoption. We have adoption. No, how, many, how many of those people are you know, there are millions of families in this, there are millions of families in the U.S. alone who desire to adopt children because they can't, can't have children of their own or just out of the kindness of their hearts. And abortion kills millions of children every year. There's been over 7 million abortions. I know, it's awful, but you know what? And how many of these children grow up to have families of their own, successful jobs, and become Christians? And how, and, how, and how many of those children grow up to be successful? Why not give the child a chance? Come on now. The, the, this is not right. There's millions that need a chance to are killed in abortion. This is irrational. Uh, it depends on what you mean by welfare. I support the churches. I support the churches' ability to government funded. I don't really get political, but it seems right for some people. I just don't think that the founding fathers intended that for the government. How many people? What do you mean? What are you talking about? So, in order to help them, normally you bring them in and you teach them, but it kind of becomes a thing. You don't just keep helping. Bring them in and teach them? Like people? About God, yeah, that's what discipleship is. Even if they're 
Even if they're against it, they're not going to. They're probably. If they're, if, they're, if they're against what Christianity teaches, they're probably not going to want to listen to what I have to say. Okay? So we shouldn't help them, though. Uh, absolutely. I, I'm all for instructing people. We instruct people in the Christian faith. That's what Christians have done for 2,000 years. That's why Christianity grew and took over the Roman Empire and grew and is continuing to grow until Christ's enemies are put under his feet. We go and make disciples of all nations. We instruct them in the Christian faith. We teach them how to walk in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. What I want you to know is that abortion, okay, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's murder. You don't need to repent if you support a woman's right to do it. According to it's according to God's word. What about numbers five? Numbers five? Yes. What about numbers five? What about it? It endorses it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. It says in Numbers 528, because I know what you're talking about, it says, but if the woman is not defiled herself and is clean, then she shall be free and she shall conceive children. So the woman has not conceived a child yet. The threat of the thigh falling away is childlessness. It is a rule of her womb becoming barren, not about aborting. Yeah, but they... Anybody to abide by it. It's up to God. It's up to God, the Holy Spirit. It's what? And your abdomen's well. The heart of the bill? Because uh, something that we, we should not, nobody should disagree that murdering a child is wrong, regardless of what view you're a part of. Nobody should disagree with that. Mothers, are you talking about? With other children that are now pregnant and are going to be harmed during that pregnancy. Harm? Are you talking about life in the vicinity? Are you talking about just kind of in the that life general life? vicinity? Yes, yes. Well, just to make sure nothing goes on. Those situations, I think, are so extremely rare that it's, it's so rare. Because you don't hear about it. Yeah. Listen, listen. If you have a child and a mother hanging off a cliff, okay? And only one of them can be saved. You're trying to go and save. You're not trying to take a child's life for your convenience. I got a Yeah. That's what you're, the argument that you're making. That 11-year-old child can get pregnant by a grown man. And you would rather have that 11-year-old child have a child of her own. If it were up to me, the rapist, the grown man who did that would get the death penalty for right. committing a crime. And the child. Hang on. Hang on. Right. What happened? It's okay if it's black. It's still on. Oh, it's a... it, it, murder as bad as rape is, murder is technically worse because you're taking the life of an individual made in the image of God. So you're telling me removing a cell from my body is killing baby? What? You're telling me a cell from the size of your body is killing baby? Yes! Yes! Yeah, right. This is Lord. 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 This is
uh, I do believe in separating them as far as institutions, but they're both under the authority of God. Yeah, they're both under the authority of God. Yes. Yes. And, and state, the state should be... The, the, the state, the state is under the authority. No, I don't agree with your definition of it. And so, the separation of church and state. So that just goes back to not forcing whatever you believe onto other people. That's not fair. I have the right to preach what I believe, and y'all need to repent. No, thank you. I got it earlier. Uh, well, look. Y'all need to trust in Jesus Christ and forsake your evil ways that include support and corruption that includes lying. And you're supporting the mother. Put that choice on another woman. Do you you believe you're a Christian? You believe this word? You believe every bit? Okay, exactly. You see, the Scripture says that it says all Scripture is God breathed. It says all Scripture is God breathed. She's not suffering. Nobody's suffering. Until you can have a baby, I don't want to hear about suffering. Okay. A, a woman, whenever she is pregnant, is oftentimes very capable. She can walk around, socialize. She's able to work. It's only nine months. Come on now. And you want to turn around and leave because you want to be part of the I do believe that the Old Testament. Hang on. There needs to be. Yes. Yes. So say hypothetically, you were in a burning building. Okay. Okay. Like little, uh, my brain is not working. Basically, little uh, fetuses in little uh, test tubes. Oh, I now, see. Now, there is a small, like not a small child, maybe like yeah. 10 yeah. to 14 issues. Okay. Now, you literally, there is no choice in this situation. You cannot have yeah. the third option. You can only save the child or all those little, yeah. like, fetuses in the tube. Yes. What version of the Bible are you reading? One second. Which would you choose? Which would I choose? Yeah, My answer for this is I'll cross that bridge when I come to it, because I don't foresee it ever coming. You know, the reason it's just a it's it's just a made up hypothetical to try and trap. That's all it is. Nobody nobody's ever in that kind of a situation. I'll cross it when I come to it. We'll see. Yes. Somebody have a question over here? Yes. It's like a trap question. Yes. I did just read a question online, but the thing is, it's actually yes. a metaphor for choosing between yes. imagine if someone is like a horse. Yes. Choice. If they have the child, Why? they will die. Because if God is all good, of course you want to choose both, but you can't. So How do you know that an all-powerful, like merely having all power doesn't mean that God has to exercise a certain amount of power to stop it. It says he will stop it in the future. Say God have mercy on him. What's your name? <laughs> Hang on, I got it. They're not pro-life, you're pro-birth. Uh, oh, no, he's right there. definitely pro-life because we believe life uh, begins at conception. So, yes. What's your name? Uh, I said that God, merely having all power, does not mean that God necessarily has to intervene in order to stop all suffering or anything. He's free to just uh, use it any way he wants. Of course, he's right there. Is he not preaching anymore? Uh, he is. No, I mean, they, they take turns. He purposes to order it to his glory. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's a good being. Yeah. And he promised that he is going. And he's it's, talking it's about me, like the evil, Jess, God Ryan, being all good and all powerful, and right. that being evil and all. It's but I want to say this that apart from God, is all good standard. This is Ryan. You don't That's have any right basis there. for saying anything is evil or not, because apart from God, we're all just here in a purposeless universe. I mean, I just nothing but evolved stardust that ultimately going to die out on a little rock that doesn't care. What basis do you have for saying anything is evil? I'm not surprised that some of y'all no. who might hold to that position support Look at the abortion, because what would be wrong with it for stardust, right? Okay, yep. Yeah, see? And then some people just took two signs right there. They took two signs yeah. over there. Okay. God's law, God's law is what judges men, okay? It's what shows us our sin, 
It's what shows us that we have rebelled against him, and the only way that you can be saved from his judgment that he will execute on you is by trusting in Jesus Christ who took the judgment for a particular people on your behalf. Uh, they, the Bible is clear. Yeah, that's you're just airing your own opinions. That's what the Bible says. That, now I'm airing. I'm preaching the word of God. Now it's written by men moved by the Holy Spirit as they spoke from God. Yes. Yes. They can't grow up. That's why they're stuck. So yes or no? Look bad. Word for word, do you believe in the Old Testament? What do you mean by word for word? Word for word, as it states in the Old Testament, do you see that as true? Yes. So, it is true. Shirt, yeah, okay. Le Leviticus, yeah. When it says the wearing mixed fabrics, the reason why Israel had that was because they were redeemed out of pagan Egypt and God was imposing those rules for them. Hang on. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 They were supposed to be God's people as set apart, and it would be through them that the nations would come to know God. And those laws, the mixed fabrics, the dietary laws, and all that, have since been abrogated because of the advent of Christ. I have had come to me saying, based on Leviticus, homosexuality is wrong. The Bible warns us to rightly handle the word of truth, and I would say so those people about, are not. What about in the English Standard Version, oh, nice when somebody was paid in 1946 to take the word pedophile and change it to homosexual? Yes, and I don't think yes. they did that, because okay, so First Corinthians 6, 9, the Greek word is arsenokotai. It literally means a sodomite, one who lies with another. I recommend you look up the lexicon on that very thing, the original Greek. Okay. Anybody else have a question? Oh, you don't want to talk to me now because I'm actually educated on this. Is what I'm okay, go ahead. What's your name? They actually never. You're gonna be drawn. It's the first English version of the Bible, correct? No, it's the first popular version. Yes, no, it's the first English version. Okay. Never once in the King James version does it say homosexual. Okay. And so we, we have so no by a guy who just went into so, and no, just go into the divorce. Yeah, that's right. He he rejected the papacy. That's where the Episcopalian Church came so, from. It's King James. So, okay, we know. So, so, yes. Uh, it is a sin to add to or take away from the words of God. Correct. Yes. So. Homosexual is never in the Bible. There was never a word for homosexuality. It, it, it was. was. Genitals. It, it, no. It's arsenokotai. Dude, look up the First Corinthians six nine. Arsenokotai is a Greek word. Yes. No, God preserved His word throughout the centuries. Yes. So, how come pedophile got changed into homosexual? Yeah. No, pedophile was the word that was changed into homosexual. Fornicator was turned into the word homosexual. Can you give me something about that? Because that's rewriting well, and adding it to Well, the yeah, and look, the, the King James is enough to get you the truth. I don't think it's the greatest translation, but you need to understand that it was translated from the Textus Receptus. We have modern translations that are translated from thousands of manuscripts, the eclectic text and the Textus Receptus. Okay, but still, that so, does not change the fact that in 1946, homosexual was paid to be put into the Bible. Paid to be, wanted, to be put into the Bible. Yes, that's, I mean, the King James specifically? No, Man, it's the English Standard. The English Standard Version? Right. Yes. So why does the, the lexical sources say that the word arsenokotai means sodomite? Okay, it's recording. Okay, it just said arsenokotai meant homosexual. It meant sodomite. You're, it's you're, the same thing. No, it's hey, It can be translated the other way. I'm sorry. One second. Why do we? What do you think? Why do we? Yeah. You can have the textual criticism. You can compare. You can compare the manuscripts together, and you can uh, reconstruct what the original said. The New Testament manuscripts uh, express a, a an impressive degree of what's called tenacity, meaning that there's nothing lost because when a variant enters in, it stays there and gets copied into more and more, and you can figure out the original reading. God has preserved His word in that particular fashion. Oh, uh, I, I know I'm going because I trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I hope you do too. God bless you. Yes. I'm surprised the cop looks so still up here.
other types of the original was like actually it's like they know when it's been the original yeah. uh, the, we don't have the original manuscripts of anything from ancient history what are your pronouns what are you talking about you're a pronoun do you know what a pronoun is I know you're a little dumb but like I don't think you're dumb just saying she they you know I, I use typical she and yeah. Oh, you're oh, okay. She. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm just wrong. That is totally my bad. All right. So everyone, she believes in abortion. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, 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 I don't acknowledge unless it comes back in the next hour. Tomorrow I'm bringing a graphic. There's no such thing. That's a good idea. What the point is? That's a good idea. I will. Anyways. Yes. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good one too. Because all of mine are gone. But yeah, that's a good one too. Because all of mine are gone. But Except this one, but but I needed new ones anyway. So God is, yeah. Because God has promised to preserve His word, number one, and number two, because people are.